Welcome along to another installment of On This Day, where we offer stories that we hope you find interesting, informative, fun, and sometimes just simply shocking. Stories that happened on this day. I think it fair to say that today's look back in time can be considered as one of the shocking stories. Some stories are hard to forget. This is one of them and can be summed up in one word, Waco. In the pages of American history, the Waco siege stands as a somber chapter marked by a tragic clash between the U.S. federal government and the religious community known as the Branch Davidians. Between February 28th and April 19, 1993, a compound in Waco, Texas, became the epicenter of a controversial and deeply troubling confrontation that would leave lasting scars on the nation's consciousness. The Genesis of the Branch Davidians To comprehend the Waco siege, one must delve into the origins of the Branch Davidians. Emerging as an offshoot of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the group took root in the 1930s under the leadership of Victor Hutef. However, it wasn't until David Koresh assumed leadership in the 1980s that the sect gained widespread attention. Koresh, born Vernon Wayne Howell, claimed prophetic visions and a divine mandate, transforming the Branch Davidians into a tight-knit community on Mount Carmel, just outside Waco, the group's beliefs, a blend of apocalyptic theology and firearm proficiency, drew scrutiny from authorities. The confrontation begins. The fuse that led to the Waco siege was lit on this day, February 28, 1993, when the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms ATF executed a raid on the Mount Carmel compound. The initial attempt to serve a search warrant escalated into a gunfight resulting in the deaths of four ATF agents and six Branch Davidians. The tragic events of that day set the stage for a prolonged and tense standoff between federal agents and the Davidians. The compound became a symbol of resistance, with David Koresh at the center of a media storm, portrayed both as a charismatic leader and a dangerous cult figure. The 51-day standoff. As negotiations faltered and tensions escalated, the standoff stretched into a 51-day ordeal. The compound was surrounded by federal agents, creating an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. Media coverage intensified, broadcasting images of the beleaguered community and its heavily armed members to a captivated audience. Amid the standstill, efforts were made to negotiate a peaceful resolution. Religious scholars, family members, and even former cult members attempted to communicate with those inside, urging them to surrender. However, the complex dynamics of the group and Koresh's unwavering influence posed significant challenges. The tragic end. April 19, 1993. The Waco siege reached its devastating climax on April 19, 1993, when the FBI initiated a final assault, employing tear gas in an attempt to force the Davidians out of the compound. Tragically, a fire erupted within the compound, quickly consuming the structure. The images of flames engulfing Mount Carmel shocked the world, 76 people, including David Koresh, perished in the inferno, marking the end of the prolonged and troubled standoff. The events of that day sparked intense debate, with questions raised about the government's approach, the use of force, and the tragedy's underlying causes. Aftermath and lingering questions. The aftermath of the Waco siege reverberated through the legal system, with investigations and hearings attempting to piece together the sequence of events. While some viewed the government's actions as a necessary response to a perceived threat, others condemned the excessive use of force, particularly the introduction of tear gas in the volatile situation. The incident left an indelible mark on the public's perception of government authority and religious groups. Conspiracy theories and alternative narratives emerged, further complicating the quest for a comprehensive understanding of what transpired during those fateful 51 days and the subsequent conflagration. Legacy of the Waco Siege The Waco Siege remains a poignant and divisive chapter in American history, evoking complex emotions and sparking ongoing discussions about the limits of government authority, the freedom of religious expression, and the fine line between vigilantism and law enforcement. As we reflect on the events that unfolded at Mount Carmel, it is essential to approach the Waco siege with nuance and a commitment to understanding the multiple perspectives that surround this tragedy. The lessons learned, the lives lost, and the questions that linger serve as a sobering reminder of the delicate balance between security and individual freedoms 
in a society that values both. The media's role. The media played a pivotal role in shaping public perceptions of the Waco siege. The constant coverage, often sensationalized, transformed the standoff into a televised spectacle. The narrative unfolded on screens across the nation, with images of armed Davidians and federal agents creating a dichotomy of good versus evil, cult versus government. The media's portrayal of David Koresh and the Branch Davidians added layers of complexity to the public's understanding of the situation. Was Koresh a charismatic leader with a devoted following, or a manipulative figure leading his followers astray? The media's lens became a filter through which the public interpreted the unfolding tragedy. Legal ramifications and policy changes. The Waco siege prompted a reevaluation of law enforcement tactics and procedures. The tragic outcome led to internal investigations, congressional hearings, and a broader conversation about the use of force in similar situations. The lessons learned from Waco influenced changes in law enforcement practices, emphasizing the importance of de-escalation and communication in high-stakes confrontations. The incident also prompted a review of how religious groups and alternative communities are perceived and treated by law enforcement and the broader society. It sparked discussions about the delicate balance between protecting public safety and respecting the constitutional rights of individuals, especially those belonging to unconventional religious groups. Legacy of Controversy Decades later, the Waco siege continues to be a subject of debate, study, and reflection. It has become a touchstone for discussions about government accountability, the role of media in shaping public opinion, and the complex interplay between religious freedom and state authority. The legacy of Waco is etched not only in the scorched remains of Mount Carmel, but in the ongoing conversations about how society grapples with issues of power, belief, and the consequences of seemingly irreconcilable differences. As we revisit the Waco siege, it serves as a stark reminder of the challenges inherent in navigating the intersections of faith, governance, and individual liberties in a diverse and dynamic society. Thank you for joining us on this day. We always appreciate a like or a share to help the channel grow. And if you would like to see more stories that cover a wide range of topics, such as pop culture, movies, sport, biographies, births, deaths, or even tragic events, then please feel free to subscribe for more of the same as we upload new content every day. We are always interested to know what your favorite kind of topic is, so if you would like more shocking, funny, or biographic material, please let us know in the comments, and we will even give you a mention in the video we make for your entertainment. Once again, thanks for watching what happened on this day, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.